It has taken me months of adding and removing Twitch channel point redeems to my stream to figure out what works and what doesn't. Now, I'm not shy or selfish. I want to keep these secrets to myself. So like some trench coat wearing freak, I'm going to reveal all for you today in this video. Hello, my name is LJ from streamscheme.com. I'm also a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash LJM underscore. Links to both those in the description if you want to check them out. We've got a lot of guides there for you. So I'm by no means a large streamer, but since I started in March, I've managed to grow my stream to about 90 to 95 average viewers, and it's going well, no bans yet. Kicking straight into it, if you have an idea for a channel point redeem, please comment it down below with your Twitch username. We're gonna go through and find the most unique ones and give them shout outs on our social media. The more people who do this means the more ideas we can share and make a little database in the comments of some of the best ones. We might even put them up on our website. So chuck those comments down below for me. In today's video, we are going to cover five things about channel points. The first is going to be what makes a good or a bad channel point, in my opinion. The second is going to be the classic channel point ideas. The third is going to be the React channel point ideas. The fourth is the content gen channel point ideas, which are my favorite of all of them. And the fifth is how to use the new community challenge channel point system. So let's get straight into what makes a good or a bad channel point. Now, personally, I think that channel points need to be something that add to the content and don't distract from it. If a channel point idea is something that's gonna make me stop and pause right in the middle of something and have to do something else, then I think that is a terrible idea. If I'm doing something funny or something amazing is happening on stream and suddenly I'm being told I have to do sit-ups or dabs, then that is a bad channel point redeem for me. So if you do wanna do anything like that, then make sure you let people know that those channel point redeems aren't instant. They can happen a little bit later, they're all being tracked, it doesn't have to be straight away. So let's get into some of these channel point redeem ideas and don't worry, I will also be giving you a rough idea of how many points each should be worth based off my channel. Two quick notes. The first is if you're wondering why you don't have channel points on your stream, it is because you probably aren't an affiliate. You need to be affiliate or partner to get channel points unlocked. The second thing, if you are a viewer and you're trying to get more channel points in a stream, well, the best thing you can do there is be in the stream, be active, follow them. If you really wanna earn more, subscribing at higher tiers will also earn you more channel points over time. A quick side note is that with these points, you can also upload icons for them. I would recommend doing it. It adds a lot of production value. These have to be 28 pixels, 56 pixels, and 112 pixels. Same image, all three sizes. It's just so Twitch has things for mobile and other devices. I really would recommend looking into it. So our first set of ideas are the classics. Now the classics are things that pretty much everyone has. They're nothing really original, but you can put your own spin on them. They're not fancy, but they're solid staples and they fill out your collection of redeemables. Most of these can be found that when you're setting up your channel points, if you click on view Twitch collections, you will most likely get all of these. So the first idea is to drink some water or hydrate. Now this is a very simple one. It's just to let your chat remind you to drink some water. It's quite nice and wholesome. Or if you have a chat like mine, they spam it until I need to pause and pee and then they cheer. I'm looking at you, Jimino. I'm looking at you, Loki. That is why I set this to 500 points because apparently they're trying to drown me. Hasn't worked yet. Mother. The next idea is posture check. This turns your chat into an angry Italian grandma or a very strict private school soccer mum telling you to put your shoulders back and stand up straight. No mum, I don't want to, I want to slouch. That is why this is 250 points because every time they redeem it, five seconds later, I'm going back down. The third idea is suggest a poll. And now I use that language quite specifically. It is just suggest a poll because not all polls are a good idea. For example, in my chat, we mainly use it to debate which soft drink or dessert is best. It really riles people up or it helps to name Pokemon or heroes and let's chat kind of decide on it. This is a thousand points to redeem because it does make a mod go out of their way to do something or me have to go out of my way to do it. The next is AMA or ask me anything. Now this is pretty simple. Chat asks a question in this redeem and you answer it. But again, I've never really understood this one. This is great for large streamers, but for us small guys, why would we ignore chat asking questions and force them to use some sort of point paywall it's up to you if you want to use it, but it's an idea and the amount of points you want to use, again, totally up to you. The next up is very simple. It is dabbing for a thousand points. You know what dabbing is. If you don't look it up, I'm not doing it. Now I'm going to encapsulate all of the fitness ones just into the idea of fitness, but you know, these are going to be sit-ups, star jumps or push-ups. Personally, I would never do any kind of fitness redeems. Literally, if I did a star jump, I'm pretty sure I'd need a sports bra and I don't want chat clipping that. Whatever points you wanna set for this is up to you, but for me, not enough points in the world. The next is the timeout. Someone in chat can redeem points to time themselves out. I never really got this one either. Just leave chat or don't talk, but some people like it. 500 points for a minute of being timed out? I don't know. It's in Twitch collections, so apparently people use it. 
The next is emote chat. Someone can redeem that emote chat is on for say 60 seconds, which is when people can't send messages. They can only send emotes. Not a huge fan of this for small streamers because at the end of the day, you kind of need that interaction, that back and forth, but it's there. I'd say probably 500 to 700 points if this was for me. So next up is the React category. Now these are great for smaller streamers, particularly affiliates who don't have enough emotes unlocked. A good example of this is a fail React or a fail Redeem. In my chat, it's called username has spilled their milk and it's actually pretty fun. People use it all the time when I fail in games, not that it happens often. And well, actually no, they've started using it just when I get up to use the bathroom. Like intensely just spamming spilled their milk. For me, I have this set to a thousand points, but you can set it any kind of price. It really just comes down to how much you want people to redeem your fails. Another idea is this is cursed for 666 channel points. You put this in and every time something horrific or weird or disgusting happens, people can redeem it. Every time I go into character creation and make something horrific, everyone always redeems my this is cursed one and it is a lot of fun. People really enjoy it. I hope you kind of get the gist for the react ones. You just pick a reaction that you want, put a channel point there and let people redeem it. It's a fun little way of doing it. It fills it out. So before we get into the content gen redeems, which are my absolute favorites, I have a lot of fun with them. It's important to throw out there that if you're liking the content that I'm producing, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, it really helps us out. And don't forget to comment your ideas, your Twitch channel, and if you decide to use any of these channel ideas, comment them down below as well. Now onto my favorite of all different types of channel point redeems, the content gen ones. Now these are ones that when redeemed, they give you more content for your stream. Some of them do require more preparation, but they're worth it and these literally have some of the best moments in my entire stream. First up on my stream, we have a thing called weird internet. Chat are allowed to submit weird news and weird internet to a Google form. My mods go through and check to make sure it's nothing bad. And then people can redeem weird internet on my stream. After a big break or when we switch games or at the end of the stream, I go in, I pull up weird news or weird internet and we watch or read it and have a good laugh together. It's great. Because it is a whole segment, I do have this set to 5,000 channel points and only one redeem per night. Another idea is for music or song redeems. Now, I used to have a thing for 5,000 channel points, you could redeem the Minecraft theme song. It was a lot of fun when I was small, but as I got bigger, it became more difficult and I kind of felt like it threw off and didn't fit for certain games. So I have turned that off for now. Obviously for this, make sure you don't do anything copyrighted or else you're just gonna put yourself in hot water for the sake of a channel point redeem. Next up is tell me some Aussie slang. Now this was a really, really fun one for my chat. I went through and found a bunch of Australian slang that both even Aussies wouldn't even know. And then people could redeem two a night for me to say some slang and they would have to try and guess what it is before I would reveal that it would be something ridiculous. Obviously you can throw in British slang or American slang, whatever you feel like for your chat. But for me, I am Australian, so it fit quite nicely. It was 2000 channel points. And as I said, you can only redeem two a night. This was because it required effort on my behalf to go find fun slang for it. And I just needed it to last longer and stretch it out. So it lasted about a month and a half to two months. The next is one of my favorite channel point redeems of all time. It is give me a pro tip LJ. Obviously you wouldn't put my name in your redeem, but that's what mine's called. And this is when chat redeems it. I give them a pro tip. Some of them can be fun. Some of them can be serious, but often it is just me talking out of my ass on the fly or throughout the week, I'll write down little jokes in the form of pro tips so I can then give them out to chat when they're redeemed. If you want to see an example of a pro tip, you can either check me out live. I'm probably live literally right now, or I'll just give you one for free. If you're trying to open a public toilet door, just, just keep pulling because sometimes they get stuck. And if you hear someone screaming, it's probably not inside. Just keep yanking on that door. You'll get in eventually, you'll get to use that toilet. This is 2000 points and two a night. It is the same logic as the Aussie slang. It requires effort on my behalf and I need them to last longer. A channel point redeem I will be adding very soon and I'm kind of excited to see is draw me like one of your French girls. Once a week, I will let someone redeem this and I'm going to draw them in Photoshop or MS Paint, depending on what's funnier. And I'm not allowed any references. I just have to go off their username and how they act in my chat. I don't know how much this is gonna cost yet. I'm thinking about 5,000 because it does require effort and one redeem a week. So to set this up, I would set one redeem per night. And then once someone has redeemed it in that week, I will pause all redemptions, meaning that no one else can do it. Next up is ASMR. My chat loves making me use this one. Essentially, they get me to whisper sweet nothings into their ears. For 10,000 points, I'll tell anyone they've got beautiful eyes. The next stop is make it Irish. Now this is a great channel point redeem and it pretty much just means I put my Irish accent on. I haven't set to 2000 points, but honestly, if I could, I'd just do it all the time. I'd like any excuse to use this accent. Chat loves it and it's very accurate. 
Okay, on to the, I mean, okay, on to the next one, which is the community challenge. Now, Twitch only just brought out the community challenge, which essentially lets people pool all of their points to get a single big redeem. Most streamers use this as a way to say, hey, if you want me to play insert game here, I will do it if you get this many points as a community. It's a great way to kind of judge whether or not people are keen for a certain game, especially if you're gonna play the game anyway, it's just a nice little way to make sure people are excited and drum up a bit more hype. That said, a fresh spin on this that I came up with myself was to create two of these at the same time and say it was a race. If you wanted me to play Final Fantasy VII, then you'd have to get that one to the end before Ocarina of Time was. And let's just say my chat absolutely destroyed the Ocarina of Time one. No one wanted me to play Final Fantasy VII. I was very disappointed. So if you're gonna use your community challenge, I think that's a nice way to add a spin to it, creating a race. Eventually you're still gonna do the other option as well, but you can see which one people want you to do first. So with that, I hope you have a few ideas for your channel point redeems. Go whisper sweet nothings in an Irish accent to your chat. Comment your ideas down below so everyone can share them. And let me know if you're gonna use any of these today in your stream so I can come check it out and see how it goes. I have been LJ and I will see you guys next week. So don't forget to subscribe.